Hey guys, Slasher Movies 410 back again with another video, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pinhead Mask from the Hellraiser series. So, without further ado, let's get right into this review. So, guys, I gotta say, this is a pretty decent mask. It's not the best, but it's decent. Uh, I got this on Amazon uh, for about thirty dollars, which isn't too bad in my opinion. And I also got it. Um, I got it on Prime, so I got it literally the day after. And the company name is actually uh, KLP, and they do a, a lot of other stuff as well. So I will put a link to the page so you can see all the masks. But uh, yeah, this mask is pretty decent. Like I said, uh, it's not the best. Obviously, there are a ton of better independent masks that you can get out there, um, and also licensed masks as well. But the reason why I went with this one is because I'm just personally I'm just not a huge fan of the Hellraiser movies in general uh, I really enjoyed the first two but in my opinion the rest of the sequels were absolutely absolutely atrocious so I wasn't too keen on getting something really really accurate but again I think this does the job so it's made out of high quality latex of course um, the sculpt is actually really nice on this thing it does remind me of the character a lot Obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but uh, it's pretty good. Um, so let me zoom in so I can show you the detail over here, because I really like what they did with the colorization. So they added some blue eyeshadow underneath, and they did the same thing by the lips over here. And that is actually super accurate to the movie, because, of course, the, uh, the character had that. The pins up here are not the best. They're made out of uh, plastic. Uh, some of them are aligned very straight, but others aren't, but that's just the way it's going to be because this is a latex mask, so obviously it's not going to be perfect. But to me, that doesn't bother me because from far distance, you really can't tell anyways, so I'm fine with that. The only thing I really don't like is the teeth over here. Um, it has a very bright yellow color. I really wish they just added some brown in there to really give it that realistic effect, but they kind of... Uh, took the cheap route I guess um, which isn't like a huge problem that's always something I could do in the near future I could always modify this thing however I want I really like the indents over here uh, let me show you and they added some uh, details like some wrinkles over here um, and the indents are very nice as well the indents are actually very accurate because if you can tell let me zoom in some more they filled it in with pink um, it had like a very pinkish tone to it, so that's that's uh, very accurate as well. Um, the pins themselves uh, are just not very accurate because they are just too thick. Uh, the nails in the movie were a lot more thin, um, and these ones are just very thick, which uh, is not accurate. So in general, I really like how um, the multiple nails that are sticking out of the grooves look. Um, like I said before, the nails aren't perfect, but of course, it's just a latex piece, so obviously they're not going to be all intact. Um, but if you go ahead and purchase maybe a bust or something, you're more than likely to, you know, get all the nails to be perfectly straight. But obviously in this case, they're not. So it's a one-size-fits-all. Uh, the openings in the back of the mask, you know, pro provide enough breathing space, of course. Um, it has a very thin casting. Uh, and also there's one little uh, hole on top and I really like how they added a lot of you know detail like behind the neck and also in front of the neck now let me show you the coloring on this thing is just great it has like a very prominent white color but uh, there's a lot of uh, shading like blue and pink shading so it looks pretty good in person so guys overall I recommend getting this mask it has uh, pretty nice detail not the best um, and it also has some really nice texture, and the, the coloring's uh, fantastic, in my opinion. Um, I will probably put together a costume for this character in the near future, but not anytime soon, because I'm kind of working on other projects right now, and I'm also going to be uh, putting together a Freddy Krueger costume test uh, relatively soon. Um, but yeah, as far as the review goes, that's that pretty much wraps it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. And I will see you later with some more videos.